Later, Surprise found out that his entire village had been ambushed and killed the night he fled. The voice of God literally saved his life, and his adventures with God had only just begun. And I was about to join in on yet another wild adventure with this guy. So we prayed about where we should go film, and the Lord showed him a small village about four hours away that had never heard the gospel before. Our intentions were pretty simple. Well, tomorrow is just we plan baby to see what the Holy Spirit is gonna lead us. We go into this village, we might just go house by house to see who is gonna repent, who is not gonna repent. There's no prearranged order, we just flow. Almost as soon as we arrived, we met a woman who said she would be willing to help us. So we asked her to tell us where there is a sick people, where we can go and pray with them. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, in this episode, we're looking at the question of, is joy a choice? And um, what the, the episode that we're, or the, the footage that we're looking at in here is the stuff we shot for Holy Ghost Reborn, which is with Surprise um, out in uh, Africa, mm -hmm. who is, you and I both know him very mm -hmm. well. And he is, without question, the most joy-filled person mm -hmm. I've ever met mm -hmm. in my entire life. No doubt. I thought it was fake at first. I thought, there's no mm -hmm. way someone's this happy. <laughs> so yeah, so I'd love to start with you, Chad, because you know him better than anybody. Like, just start us off. Give me a really good Surprise story, because he's, he's abnormal when it comes to the kingdom? Um, well, I love carbohydrates, and so I was uh, making spaghetti. No, seriously, I was making spaghetti for my family five years ago, and the Holy Spirit said, turn on the television. I turn on the television, and Sid Roth is interviewing this tiny African man about raising the dead. And I said to the Father out loud, I don't wanna meet someone like him, I wanna meet that guy. <laughs> And about nine months later, I'd forgotten about it, and we went to South Africa, <clears throat> walked into this tiny orphanage, and he's, he's standing there. So we pray over each other and built a friendship. <laughs> and, uh, so he came to my house. And when he's at my house, there's a restroom right near our master bedroom, and he would stay in the guest bedroom. And I thought he was on the phone with his wife, Trifina. And he's laughing in the bathroom and having a full bore conversation with someone. <laughs> And I, but I knew he didn't have a cell phone. I realized he's talking to God the whole time. Mm -hmm. And after he's talking to God, he's just, <laughs> just laughing all the time. <laughs> and so he takes a nap in the guest bedroom in the afternoon, comes downstairs, and as serious as he can be, he said, I went into heaven during my dream, and the Father gave me something for you. And when Surprise says something like that, you really, really listen. And the words that he gave over me, they've all come to pass. It really impacted my family. So I started asking him questions. I said, just tell me some great stories. And uh, the first time Surprise ever raised someone from the dead, it scared him as much as anyone. All he did was put his finger in a little 12-year-old girl's hand, mm -hmm. and she did like that. And all the women that were crying over the child ran out of the room. The girl sat up, and Surprise said, would you like some Coca-Cola? <laughs> and that's just who he is. Mm -hmm. um, he carries an amount of joy. It's the only time I've ever been convicted by another person in Christ for the amount of joy they carried. Mm -hmm. I was like, man, I need some therapy in a hurry. I need to get some help here. <laughs> it's that high level of joy. Mm -hmm. So is joy, okay, so this is, I think this is what I really wanna get at. Is joy and happiness the same thing? I, I don't think so. I mean, to me, joy is, uh, it's part of our inheritance. It's part of our makeup. The, the, the fruit of the spirit is joy, part of it. You know, mm -hmm. part of the manifestation of his presence in our life is joy. Happiness to me is circumstantial. Mm -hmm. I, I think happiness is based yeah. upon circumstance mm -hmm. versus joy is something that, that we can not only manifest, but, but you know, the question being, is joy a choice? It's, it is that opportunity. Like I, when I look at situations that come up, they are usually opportunities to manifest mm -hmm. 
something in that environment. So if there's heaviness and depression, if I don't come in there and actually choose to tangibly demonstrate in darkness, joy is an option. I th- you know what I mean? Yeah. So I, but happiness is usually, at least, at least for me, like when we had our, when we had our, my first, when we had our first child, I was super happy, right. you know? But when that same child was waking up every two hours, I wasn't very happy. Right. <laughs> but I could still make the choice of joy when they were waking up. Mm-hmm. You, know, you see, for me, that's the difference. Mm-hmm. I, I don't think they're the same.